the Genesis. The earth was without form, void, then the Spirit of God. Darkness, light. The seed of the serpent, the seed of the woman. Counter narratives. You have Cain, you have Abel. Opposites. If you observe something has happened in Genesis 11, that Genesis 12 was when Abraham was called. The counter narrative was the opposite narrative. So Genesis 11 has a counter narrative in Genesis 12. In Genesis 11, 1, let's look at it. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. I used to believe, and I know many of you believe that story, that what they were trying to do was to build a high rise, very tall building. Then God said it's wrong. Then God took it down. All right, let's read verse 2. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. Next verse. And they said one to another, Go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. Verse 4. And they said, Go to let us build us a city and a tower. Please pay attention. Whose top may reach unto heaven. Whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth take note of let us make us a name that's something not to miss let us make us a name look at verse 9 of that same chapter 11 therefore is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth so let's know what it means when it says let us make us a name the word there is the word shem s-h-e-m in the hebrew it means let us make us what is popular let us become popular or known let us make us a name to function as popular let us make us a name to function as popular and Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bought Enoch and he built a city and called the name the name of that city after the name of his son Enoch name so a name is to represent a function something that will be done a name is to represent a function something that will be done a name represents a function or what is to be done the way we use names now you just give name for different reasons but here it has to do with something you see or something you worship or something you want to become that is the context that we're reading and to set and to him also there was born a son and he called his name Enos then began men to call upon the name of the Lord upon the name of the Lord so worship is to call upon the name of the Lord to see God as he is to equally worship and tree male and female created in them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created next verse and adam lived 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name set name and they said go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth so if these folks now build a city let us make us a name the word tower tower is a space created for worship that's the meaning of tower tower is not a building that reaches the sky tower is a name or a space created for worship or a tower is a space created for deities in that world you must sit where they sat 
and hear what they heard when they had tower they they had a space for worshiping a deity that's what they had in your own world when you hear tower you hear of a high-rise building but in their world a tower was a space created for worship it's similar but not the same as temple okay it's similar but they are not the same so and heaven represent deities so if they say let us build a tower unto heaven it's not the height they are referring to it's let us make us a place of worship and make our own name great let us make us a place of worship and make our own name great or let us make us a place of worship and make a name for ourselves so what you have in babel is idol worship what you have in babel is idol worship which means the tower of babel represents idol worship that's what it is it represents idol worship so the tower of babel is idol worship because in genesis 4 26 they began to call upon the name of the lord they began to worship god then in genesis 11 there was a counter narrative we will not worship the lord god let us let's create a place of worship and let us worship ourselves let us make a name for ourselves let's idolize ourselves humanistic worship self-worship self-adulation the power of babel a place of self-worship now stay with me so remember that god's blessings is for all the earth his name made great in all the earth and they said no let's not make the name of god great in all the earth anymore let's not make god popular anymore let's make for us a tower let's make for us a deity place and they are no more calling upon the name of the lord and they said let us make a name for us instead of promoting the name of the lord let's promote our name instead of making god popular let's make us popular the tower of babel so genesis 11 is about idol worship the word babel is from the word balal b-a-l-a-l balal babel from the word balal it occurs 262 times in the old testament 262 times in the old testament is where you have the word babylon 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 so in genesis chapter 11 verse 7 they say what they are confound go to let us go down and they are confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech the word confound is the same word balal is the same word in genesis 11 9 confound the language of all the earth the word means to mingle together that is to mix to mix what let's do exegesis exodus 29 verse 2 pay attention exodus 29 verse number 2 and on living bread and cakes on living tempered with oil and wafers on living anointed with oil of wheaten flour shall thou make them that's a mixture exodus 29 verse 40 exodus 29 verse 40 and with the one lamp a tent deal of flour milk with mixed mingled with the fourth part of an heen of beaten oil and the fourth part of an heen of wine for a drink offering so when you have balal b-a-l-a-l or babylon it means mix it means a mixture so to mix what exactly it means to mix the worship of god with other things a mixture of the worship of god with other things so this group knew exactly what they were doing they are not ignorant let us do this for ourselves 
we have done for the Lord in Exodus 4 let us stop enough for God let us do for ourselves so this is idol worship in Genesis 11 which is a counter worship narrative a counter worship narrative apart from the worship of God because in Genesis 4 26 human beings began to call upon the name of the Lord in worship now in Genesis 11 they say no more we won't worship God again let's worship ourselves now you know idol worship is not the same thing all the time when we say idol worship you imagine one image in one room where people go to kneel down or in a bush where they call a you know they call a shrine and you know people are bowing to it that can happen in a primitive world or that is how it happens in an undeveloped society but idol worship simply means anything you give your worship to anything you regard anything you refer and you hold in high esteem above your life above your life and this can be anything it can be persons it can be things it can be ideas it can be money and it can be your own desires anything you hold dear above your life some people worship science rather than use science to achieve a worthy end they worship science they say i don't care what god's word says i care what men find out i don't care what god's word says i care what men find out so you have that narrative here let us make a name for ourselves and you find out that this is the inception or the commencement of Babylon to confuse and to have people begin to worship all sorts of things multiplied servitude to objects multiplied servitude to people Babylon whereas the whole earth ought to worship just God so what we find in Genesis 12 is the exact opposite of Genesis 11 someone who is an idol worshiper by the name of Abraham he is called by God to a land God will show him verse 3 I will make of thee a great nation Genesis 12 2 I will make of thee a great nation now what was the unity of Genesis 11 idol worship the unity of Genesis 11 was idol worship. Now in Genesis 12, there's also another unity. That unity is faith in God. The worship of God, which is the exact opposite of idol worship. 